Hello, and thanks for tuning in to this ASGE video tip of the week. In this series, we're reviewing the fundamental concepts of electrosurgery. Last week, we reviewed the basics of the electrosurgery unit. For this week's tip, we'll plan to compare and contrast cutting and coagulation currents, as well as the concept of blended currents. As mentioned in last week's tip, there are three principles of physics set at the level of the electrosurgery unit which ultimately translate into either a cutting of tissue or coagulation. With a cutting current, a constant sinusoid wave is used to cause tissue cleavage via cellular burst, resulting in a cut. With coagulation current, an intermittent modulated wave is used to dehydrate tissue leading to desiccation and clinical coagulation. A cutting current will employ a uniform low voltage without variable frequency or amplitude. Coagulation current will employ a pulse current with variable voltage. A pure cutting current uses heat to turn cellular water to steam by quickly raising the temperature to the boiling point. The rapid fluid expansion from heat causes cellular bursts, a cleavage plane, and ultimately a clinical cutting effect. A coagulation current is pulsed high voltage, often higher than the voltage of the cutting current, but with intervening rest periods. This latency between pulsed episodes allows for dehydration of cellular proteins resulting in shrinking of tissue. This shrinking of tissue results in hemostasis via desiccation. Blooded currents are commonly used in endoscopic procedures and involve the use of both coagulation and cutting currents to achieve some combination of both effects. This is usually achieved by having a lower voltage, such as with a cutting current, but with a pulse delivery to allow for protein denaturation the duty cycle, or the percentage of the total time during which the electric current is being applied, is varied as well to achieve the desired effect. There are many available electrosurgical generators on the market. Each of these has a proprietary name for their blended current, providing some combination of coagulation and cutting. For the sake of specificity, we will briefly review settings in the Erby VIO 300D, which is a generator we carry in our units. On the left we show a representative example of a screen on the Irby generator, here showing settings for a papillotomy. Endocut I is the name for the blended cut used with straight wire devices like a sphincter tome. Settings available to adjust include effect, duration, and interval. As shown on the graph on the right, adjustments in the duration dictate the length at which the cutting portion of the current is applied. Adjustments in the interval will change the time between the application between each cut. Adjusting the effect will change the amount of tissue coagulation performed by the device, with higher effects leading to more coagulation. Notably, in order to obtain the coagulation effect of this blended current, the pedal needs to be stepped on continuously instead of intermittently. This in vivo depiction demonstrates a hybrid effect that is achieved by using a blended cut. A pure cut current limits charring and achieves this with limited voltage. A coagulation current results in greater charring due in part to the higher voltage. Shown here in artificial tissue, we can see a side-by-side -side representation of the lowest effect, in our case effect 1 seen above, and the highest effect, in our case effect 4 seen below, and how this defines the tissue effect. Clinical situations where a higher effect might be desired include times when there's concern for immediate bleeding, such as with cutting through a pedunculated polyp stalk. Similarly, effect might be set at a minimum in portions of the intestine where the bowel wall is thin, such as with the cecum, to minimize the risk for perforation or post-polypectomy syndrome. For more information about electrosurgery, please consider looking at these references. We hope that this two-part series was very helpful in teaching you the basics of electrosurgery and the electrosurgical generator. Thank you for watching.